So, explain this game again. Oh my word, how so are you? So, you pick up a word from the pile, you write on the whiteboard an alternative word, and whoever guesses it correctly keeps the card. And the first person to five cards gets to choose who drinks the dirty pint. Okay, I think I got it now. Well, finally. What is in the dirty pint? Oh, you really don't want to know. It's not going to make me sick, is it? I don't know, Lily. Depends on how well you can handle your drink. Who's going first, Sam? I think you should go first, that's me. Thanks, Aaron. Welcome. Word. The word on my card was biscuit. Cookie? Aaron, I hadn't even started. Well, it was fairly obvious what you were going to say, though. And that's mine. Smile. She might as well be next. Fine by me. My word is gay. What alternative word have I chosen? <laughs> As if the actual gay boy picks the gay card, eh? Oh, this should be good. Um, homosexual. No. Homo. Does that count as a different word to homosexual? Yeah, I think it does. Well, it doesn't matter because it's wrong. Gay! Oh, wait, that was the word for you. Then my dad uses it all the time. What's it even mean? So, uh, as you know, a jockey rides a horse. You know that? Oh, no, gives it all of that. Oh, yeah. Well, a gay man is a knob jockey because he rides the knob. Oh, yeah. You know, as it is in sex like that. Okay, thank you, Billy. I get it now. No! This is tough. Uh, apparently you have more insults, I'm sure of it. Yeah, there's plenty. Um... Have we had fairy? No, and no. Oh, there was a word in Capture and Ride. Do you remember we had to ask Mr Andrews what it meant? Oh, what was it? It began with an F. Fuckboy. You're the fuckboy. What? Flit, uh... Flitty! Not even close. Are you sure we haven't said it? Absolutely positive. Can we have a clue? No. Hey, we can do this. Um... Peter? Piss off. A uh, mixer? Muffy? Um, a friend of Dorothy? No, no, and no. Twink? Not a twink. Wait, I swear that they're named after animals. Yeah, they are. Um, otter's one. Is it otter? Not an otter. Bear! We're the hairy bastards! <gasps> cougar! Oh, it's a cougar! Cougar is an older woman who preys on younger lads. You idiot. Is it chicken? It's not a chicken. This is ridiculous. We must have said everything, I reckon. Yeah, come on, Aaron, give us a clue. It's not an animal. It doesn't really help, though, does it? Fine, it begins with the letter H. H? H. We've said homo, haven't we? Ooh, um, how about harbinger of Sodom? You just make your shirt now, Billy. Fuck off, that was a good one. And a good use of the English language, if I do say so myself. Well, it's wrong regardless. I give up, I can't think of anything. Yeah, me too, I can't think of any other insults for gay. But don't give up, we'll have two cards already. Well, have you got any bright ideas? We just have to think like our gay guy, Aaron. What word would he hear or associate with the term gay? I've got it. You know, I can't believe we didn't think of this earlier. The, the word is homophobic. No. Oh, for God's sake, Aaron. This, this is complete bullshit. We've used literally every term there is for a gayer. Yeah, Billy's right. If this is some stupid made-up word, I am not going to be pleased. 
Yeah, go on, put us out of our misery. What word do you associate with gay? I chose happy. Oh. The word means happy and carefree, does it not? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's just a shame you guys couldn't think of the true meaning or associate being happy with me. You just went straight to the default, slurs and slang. It's not really relevant in today's society. Food for thought, guys. Food for thought.